everyone, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps, and I, well, I meant to show you a soap before I did that, but I'm going to make another soap from the Twilight series. I have two more, just, well, including this one. Uh, this is Jasper. Whoa. Jasper was almost a disaster. And Jasper, I'm going to do like Alice, if you can see that. Just different colors. I already have my scent in here. So there are a lot of components to Jasper and to the scent. I think out of all of the Twilight scents, Alice and Jasper are my favorite. Um, this one has cucumber, fresh air. What else? Green pear, green pear, cyclamen, cyclamen lily, lily, green melon, green melon, amber, amber, and musk. And musk. I'm just emulsifying this, just making sure it's all blended, and then I'm going to add my cream. plugged everything in on the left side of me instead of the right side. So I have to get used to that change. So Jasper is going to be kind of a gray blue for the base. And then I'm going to swirl him with gray. I don't want too much. Might be more than what I want. But <clears throat> oh well. and gold. It's hard to tell because these bowls are not the same. I'm actually going to pour this back in here. I had a spatula. Oh, here it is. Nope, this is the one. I had a spatula that I had in this blue a little while ago. Oh, a little bit more gold. back in here. So I've mentioned before, but when picking out the colors for all of our Twilight soaps, my girls and I sat down with a piece of paper and tried to figure out what we should do for each character, and my husband walked in the room and said, no, 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 you've got it all wrong. And he claims to not be a Twilight fan. I believe he lies. <laughs> He's a closet Twilight fan. But um, he really is the mastermind behind most of our colors. And he said, for Jasper, he was a Confederate sol soldier, so we should um, do Confederate colors which is where the gray comes from. And I wanted to liven it up a little bit, so we did blue. But he said blue would also be another one because he's kind of always depressed. Just move it a little closer. Be too. Thank you. And then um, gold. So let me clean up my spill here. That's the thing with these bowls, is they dribble and I don't always notice. Okay. I'm going to mix up my gold. Is that better? Just so, yeah. The camera got 
moved and hmm. I'll have to play with that for the next video. And there's the gray. And then lots of air into the blue. That's nice. this off really fast. This is first of four. Sorry about my arm. I think I'm going to have to move that back to the other side. First of four that I'm doing tonight. Yeah, I feel like I don't have any room. Okay, so I'm just going to start with pouring my base here. really pretty. Thank you. And where did Alice go? Did we do mostly white for the top of Alice? Uh, kind of. light pink. Mm, I don't remember. Well, we'll just go with it. It's been a while. It's like a light pink on top. No, it's purple. Purple. Okay. So there's the base. Let me smack this. I'm going to go ahead and put all the glue in there. Am I still in the camera? Yeah, uh, that's kind of? Kind of, yeah. I could see the side of the mold on Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just putting in, I decided to put the rest of the blue in. I'm not saving any of it for the top. Okay. I didn't make any white for this. I didn't think about that. Oh well, it's too late. Okay. So now I'm just going to do a mini in the pot swirl. Is this in the camera? Yes. Okay. At least something is in the camera. And I'll save some of this for the top. How's that? And I'm just going to swirl it. I think the person that came up with this technique is Holly. The Missouri River Soaps. I don't know if it has a name. I think I've heard somebody call it the Holly Swirl, but there's another technique called that too, so I'm not sure. But it looks pretty cool. Oh, there's gray in here. This is blue. Ooh. The mold is getting really full. That's odd. Okay. Am I in the camera? Yes. Sorry, I'm going to have to keep asking now. I went out and bought myself some more spatulas, and I really like them. I think I'm going to have to go get some more. Okay, I know that this is too fluid to texture. So, I'm going to pause this for a minute, and we'll be right back. Okay, I think it's still kind of fluid, but... It's good enough. I don't need it to be super tall. It just has some sort of a shape to it. I 
like the glitter on the twilight slips because when they go in the sun, they sparkle. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd say on my soaps because everything I make has some sort of a sparkle or shine on them, except for the natural soaps. And the glitter is a cosmetic glitter, so it doesn't stick to you. It's not like a craft glitter, which is made out of sheets of foil. Um, it just goes down the drain. So for those men out there who go, oh, I don't want to use soap and glitter on it, I don't want to sparkle. Like my dad said, you won't sparkle. It, it does not stick. It's just for decorative purposes only. And if it's in your shower, nobody's going to see it. Okay, so there is Jasper, number 11 for me out of the Twilight Soaps. And I'll have this cut in a couple of days, but I will add it to the end of this video. So keep watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, here's Jasper. Jasper's still a little soft. Um, he's stuck to the side of the mold a little bit. Hopefully you can see. But I planed that off anyway, so it'll be fine. And I'm just going to, I didn't want to handle it any more than necessary, so I'm pulling it off the mold right now. I love these because they just turn inside out and pull right off. So now I can just smooth that down. And my ends, um, I don't sell anyway. I use one end, use that end for samples, and one end we keep at home. I'm going to go ahead and get this cut. Oh, look, nice and easy. Before it got any later. There's, let me make sure you can see the first piece. So I did, um, well, you just saw on the video the little in the pot swirl with the gold and the gray. Kinda looks white in this light, but it is gold. That looks cool. So this is the last soap that I needed to cut for the Twilight series. I cut Edward last night. Some fragrances um, cure faster than others. This one just took a little longer to set up. I hope I'm in the video. I'm home alone. I cut three loaves last night um, with the kids in bed and they came out this morning for school. What did you do? I knew I was going to get in trouble and I warned them I was going to cut this while they were gone. A little bit of an air pocket, but that happens. Actually, I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. Made it really sticky on the ends. In the middle, it wasn't as bad as the ends, which is odd. So let me grab an Alice. So here's Alice and Jasper. If you can see, yep, so same, same kind of deal. But Jasper will be cured November 30th. Um, as soon as I get all of these cleaned up, I've got uh, eight batches that I have to plane and smooth. Um, so once that is done, I will get these loaded on my website, stargazersoaps.com, with all of the different Twilight soaps. And um, I will have them up to order in the next one to two weeks, probably. And I will probably do the Twilight soaps in a um, set at a at a at a discount, quite a big discount. So keep an eye out for those. And until next time, thanks for watching.